Let's go guys, it's Vowel TV Team R for you all, your favourite YouTube mechanic back again and what I'm doing this time round is I've got a 2010 Honda CRZ I think it is a Honda CRZ, hang on a minute Yeah, it's a Honda CRZ hybrid Doesn't matter if it's hybrid or whatever, right? Have you come to the car? Right, and this happened So basically, you come to the car and you open, you're about to open the door and this happens, basically you pull it to open the door and the door handle breaks off so basically, we are going to go ahead and replace the door handle. Don't think it's the easiest job in the world, but Raul TV team are for you all. We're going to persevere and we're going to do it. Let's go. Okay, in order to take the handle off, we need to go inside here. Okay, we need to take the door card off. So you could say this is two jobs in one. If you want to replace the door, if something behind the door card, like the mechanism or the regulator or motor, whatever, this is how you take the door card off. First things first, we're going to go in there. We get a little pick, take that little cover off. And we've got a little Phillips screw there. Take that Phillips screw off and we'll go from there. After we have taken that screw off, we get a little flat screwdriver and we'll put it in between this gap here, give that a little pry out, get this switch and everything off. So you get the picture, you need two hands basically to take this off, but there we go. Take that off and take the wiring plug off, which is around the back here. Okay, just press it here, pull it off, that should come straight off. Okay guys, we've took this wiring plug off. Okay, the switch is off, the window switch, switches are off. What we're going to do now is, as you can see there, little Phillips screw there. We're going to go ahead and take that one off. Take that one off. And then we're going to go to the door opening latch here. Take this little cover off here. What you need to take that cover off is you need to pull that back here. And you, as you can see underneath there, right there, little clip there. Yeah, we need to flick that off with a little pick or whatever you've got and pull it, pull that cover off. Well, I really need two hands basically. One hand to hold the handle back, the other one to take that cover off. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back at you guys. Right, after we've taken that cover off, um, I, I couldn't really show you guys how I took it off. But so basically there's a little, uh, little clip there, you flick that off, it should come off. You'll see it when you get to it. We're going to take that Phillips off here, Phillips screw off. Take that off and I think that's about it. The rest of it should, uh, should be clipped on. Give it a little pull, pry, and uh, it should come off. Let's see what happens. Right, okay. Now that we've got this one off, we've got that off, the, the switches off, the, uh, wire, the window switches are off. I think it's only just clipped on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath here okay get a flat screwdriver in between there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath here get a little flat screwdriver get it in between the panel the door card and the door right and then all we do is just give it a little there we go did you see that did you hear that that comes off like that all the way around this side as well underneath here go like this so just pry give that a little pry that should come off and uh, yeah we'll go from there right so okay I've took I've pried it on the bottom here pried it here as well give it a little pull there as well that should come off so what we do now is a little flap here obviously I forgot to show you guys just pry that off there we go that little thing in here comes off and hopefully this panel should come straight off possibility need to take that one off as well this little quarter panel here as well so give that a little pry there we go just like that that comes off as well and now hopefully this should just lift off
the little switch on the bottom here for the light so what you could do is just take the light bulb off totally like that right and then just uh, pull that switch off or you can go ahead and take the switch off on the other side but I think that's the best thing to do just take the bulb out there we go happy days let's tackle the rest of it right the next thing the next thing what we're gonna do guys is obviously the door handle is there about round about there so we need to move all this insulation and all this plastic out of the way so that's about it. if you want to you can go ahead and take these wiring off as well a little plug here take that off give these a little pull that should come off gives it a bit more room Okay, we don't need any more room basically it's there we can get my i can get my hands in there no problem whatsoever and uh, yeah that's it so let's go ahead and replace this handle okay guys this job has turned for the worse okay what we need to do is we need to take the locking mechanism off um, to do that it shouldn't be that hard hopefully we can do it we can do it so uh, let's see if we can uh, attempt it and uh, let's take it off let's go right so first things first i'm going to take these off they're off and I think we need to take that off Phillips here and some Phillips on this side one two three take them off hopefully the whole thing will come off and that way I can put my hand in there and take the uh, take the door handle off hopefully let's see what happens Okay, the locking mechanism is half off. Them three, them three screws are off. That that is off from the here as well. From there. Okay, another thing I've done is I've took this window runner off. Basically, there was a 10 milli bolt there. Okay, all we do is take that 10 milli off. That runner just slides off like that. Right, that comes off. Obviously, I didn't show you guys, but that's dead easy. Just take that 10 milli off there. It slides off. Now I think we can get our hands in there and everything no problem whatsoever the next thing what we're going to do is see this bracket here this one here we're going to take that off to take that off on this side here i can't really show you guys but because i can't really get the camera in there there is a little allen key a size 5 allen key you can see it you can't i can't get the camera in there but you can just make it out i can't really show you guys but on the other side of this bracket here there's a little size 5 allen key we take that off Hopefully the door handle should come off and then we can go ahead and take all the cables. There's like a little cable there So we're gonna take the allen key off See if we can make it out. You can't really see it. I can't I can't really show you guys, but it, there is an allen key on the other side Just about there on, on the other side of that we're gonna get an allen key little extension Ratchet, I'm gonna take that off. So as you can see there, I've left the ratchet in there so you can get a rough idea where that Allen key is. It goes there. I've got the ratchet there, small ratchet with the Allen key on the end of it and it goes right there, as you can see there. I'll point it out, try pointing it out in the edit. And all we're gonna do is anti-clockwise, take that off. Allen key is off. Okay, a um, little bit of an issue because Allen key is basically, it goes on there and it is it's the door barrel basically the key barrel right so that's off along with the mechanism that can stay out of our way uh, one more little bolt here this allen key here can you see there this one here size 5 or size 6 allen key we'll take that off and hopefully that's that the whole thing should come off happy days let's go okay guys there's the new one there's the old one obviously snapped off and everything uh, it comes with the little yellow clip your little yellow clip i took the rod off and everything which is there mechanism on strictly speaking i think we could have got away without taking the mechanism off but see this allen key the allen key that goes there the one with the uh the locking barrel okay the key the key barrel 
to get that one off that would be a mission so I suggest I think we have to take the mechanism off so we took the mechanism off that's all right that's there reef it oh god help me right it's not gonna be the, it's not the easiest job in the world a fiddly job but hopefully let's get it on so refit it in reverse order I'm gonna put this one back on okay and then uh, yeah we'll just go from there another thing is see that allen key the allen key on this side don't take it off all the way right and I'll, I'll mention that in the edit don't take that off all the way just slacken it because this bracket here wherever that bracket is this bracket here it slides onto it okay so don't take it off all the way okay to refit it I'm gonna go in this way as you can see there get it in there like that then lift it up two hands will be a lot better but we'll try it with one hand so get it in there there we go we're in there I mean just fiddle about with it it will go in now that we're in there we're gonna go around to this side get this bracket back on remember this bracket put it through that bolt can you see that allen key there and if you go through this side here just go into the allen key right we're gonna go into that allen key. it's very hard to show you guys because it is so cr cramped in there i can't get my hands in the under camera so we're gonna what we're gonna do is if, if i show you on this one on this one so we're gonna go in like that that's gonna lock on to that like that we're gonna tighten up on that don't tighten it fully just hand tight kind of thing and then we'll go from there okay the bracket is on there i've got that allen key back on there right not tight remember just finger tight i'm gonna get this one two ways to to do this i'm gonna put actually we'll put the rod on there okay we should have done that in the first place i'm gonna put that rod on there you know on that yellow yellow clip which is there just put that rod in there we're gonna put that yeah rod in there in the yellow clip and then all we do is just it just sits on the top here it just sits on the top here so it just pushes that down i mean we'll do that i should have just left that on actually but yeah just leave that rod on onto the handle makes your life a bit more easier right let's do that and then we'll get this mechanism on hopefully uh, try getting that bolt back on and uh, yeah let's go let's go for it okay the locking mechanism uh, we're gonna try getting that in there through this gap here so what what when it's in there what we do is we get it all the way to the one second guys The rod, you know that rod that I put on there before? We get that lined up and get it bolted on, okay? Get the, this bolt on, the three bolts on this side, get them on, finger tight. But first things first, make sure the rod goes through and then uh, get, the, get them four bolts on, right? Okay, let's do that. Okay, another little top tip is before you put the locking mechanism on, put that Allen key on, okay? Don't go tightening it up. Put the Allen key on, put this Allen key on, put that bracket on, then what you do is, then you you get the rod through as you can see there i've got the rod through there clearly see it now rod is in there okay and uh, what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go tighten this one up this allen key on this side tighten this one up and then we're gonna go ahead and put the barrel we're gonna take that allen key off put the barrel through put that allen key back on tighten up happy days get everything else back on all the door cards everything back on oh this has been a marathon let's go okay guys the door handle is back on uh, obviously nothing else is back on right so what i'm going to do now is the mechanisms there not tighten up only finger tight kind of thing i've only put them on okay so i'm going to tighten up on the mechanism before i put everything back on anything back on i'm going to close the door open it see if it opens okay if it doesn't open then we've got a big problem if it opens happy days so what we do is we're going to put the mechanism back on and then we'll try it okay let's go
okay now that I've got the locking mechanism back on what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna close the door and hopefully it should open from outside oh that's what we're talking about right so it opens from outside what I'm gonna do now is obviously take this back off put the runner on for the window right and then hope uh, finish everything off in reverse order so follow my lead guys Well, that is it guys the door card is on the door panel is on wow that was a slight mission to change the door handle well that is it guys that's it that's how we replace the door handle on a honda crz 2010 okay not the easiest job in the world uh, take your time be patient with it you have to take the locking mechanism off i thought i could get away with it without taking the locking mechanism off but you have to take the locking mechanism off. Obviously, I will give it a clean out. I know you got a bit of grease marks there. Raul TV ran out of gloves. Okay. So another thing is, take your time. And uh, I'm sorry if I didn't show you all the steps properly. It's so hard, so fiddly to get the camera in there and show you guys. Plus, this is the first time I've done one. Okay. So it was new to me as well. So uh, if I wasn't clear on all the steps, peace and blessing. I'm sorry. Don't slag me off. I'm trying my best. Uh, all I'm going to say is I hope this helps you out at least a little bit. If you're going to attempt it, attempt it, you know, at least it should give you a, a slight guideline into how to change the door handle. Uh, all I'm going to say is please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Raul TV, Team R4UL. I'll see you guys soon.